Okay, audience and Harper, let me take you on a journey. Imagine this, it is the near future. There's been a crisis on planet Earth, not this crisis, another crisis, <laughs> okay? Um, and amid that crisis, a team of technologists hatch a daring plan. They are going to travel far beyond the solar system with a thousand specially selected people to the planet next one. There they will establish a permanent base, a new home, a new chapter for humanity. Harper Reed, because of your exceptional achievements in the field of technology and entrepreneurship, you have been chosen to be among those thousand people. And before you set off, before you become one of those 1000 pioneers, there are five key questions we need you to answer. So let's roll question one. Name one luxury physical object that you want to take with you to your new home. Oh boy. Oh boy. One physical luxury. You know, I would, I want to choose my Toto washlet the day because when you're at that new, that, that next one planet, you want to make sure you are clean and fresh every day. I like it. I like it. Clean and fresh indeed. Yeah. I think next one could be dusty. Like we don't yeah. really know the terrain. So that sounds very, it's very sensible, very practical. Important. Right. Let's have a look at question two. Name one exceptional person you want to take with you to the planet next one. One exceptional person I want to take with me on planet. Man, I don't know. Alive or dead? Is there some constraint? Do we have the technology to... to, to... They need to be alive. Oh, man. I would take a dead David Bowie. Okay. Maybe maybe you'll find the technology to rejuvenate him. With the washlet. There's just something about next one and that Toto washlet that somehow rejuvenates the dead. That's my hope. <laughs> yeah, and then you're going to have some awesome, awesome music. Okay, let's roll number three. Create a law that bans one thing from the planet next one forever. And look, caveat... There is a, already a basic system of law. Things like murder huh. and theft are already banned. But what do you want to ban from your new home? Oh, man. Corduroy. I'm going to ban corduroy. Any like bad the... experiences with corduroy behind this? No, it's just like when you touch it. It just is like, ugh. It just, for some reason, corduroy, I just can't do corduroy. And I know it's a very comfortable, like it makes comfortable pants and it's a nice fabric, but the... Okay, corduroy lovers. Harper Reed has spoken. No corduroy on next one. Okay, let's roll the next question. Explain one truth about human nature or one ethical principle to live by uh, that you want people to embrace on next one. Hmm. Hmm. There's. I don't know. I. 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 I I think it's just about being decent, something like that, like this idea that you just are nice to others or you're decent to others of just like this idea, like the kind of a humanism, like how do you, and I don't know how to say it in a, in a really simple way, um, but it could just be to be nice. Um, you know, I saw actually at, I was at a grocery store the other day and, and, the, and one of the checkout people, you know, we're behind plastic, you know, everyone has gloves and masks on. It's almost like we're in space. And the person had a little pin on, on their apron and it just said, be nice. And I thought, you know, that is a defensive mechanism. How sad that this person has to have a pin on their apron that reminds the patrons to be nice during this time. And I, I think that would be the thing I would push out is how do you be decent? How do you just make sure people are nice? Have that be a core, a core part. I like it. I think that's a, that's a solid principle for planet next one. We should do some kind of book or maybe some stone tablets once we have enough pioneers with like their principle on each one so just be nice on a big stone tablet I mean, you <laughs> no corduroy no you. corduroy they're like how did no corduroy go above be nice <laughs> ah you know it just be, happened <laughs> be nice brackets no corduroy yeah exactly uh, let's see the next question okay last week's pioneer was monique and she wanted to ask you if you could set up the internet anew on planet next one what would you change? So just a small question there. What would uh, you change? 
for some reason, this question is actually easier for me to answer than the others. Like literally the other ones, I was so confused. I was like, oh no, what would I not have? Um, with this one, I think I think there's an easy answer. When, when I remember when I first discovered the internet and it was this amazing experience, like this thing where I was like this, it was, it was just incredible. I can't even describe it. Like I, I, I felt that the whole world shifted. And for so many of us, that's that's how the internet has been. And, and for, for many of us today, the internet has just always been there or you're a young person and this is just how, like how your classes work, et cetera. But you know, I live in Chicago, a big city in the US and there's many people in, in Chicago who don't have the internet. I think the thing I would change is I would actually solve for internet access because we have all these great re resources, Wikipedia, Khan Academy, all these places to learn, but we have a huge amount of our population in the world that just doesn't have access. And so we think about the democratization that the internet has brought many things, businesses, um, education, and yet so many people are left behind. I think that I would make sure that every single person has unfettered, very fast, the fastest of internets, but access that is not censored. Um, and so they can make those decisions themselves. I think that's the important thing. Thank you, perfect. Let's roll the final question. Okay, next week's star guest and next week's pioneer is the futurist Pamela Pavlishak. You have to name one question that you would like to ask Pamela. Okay, hmm. Okay, so I love domain names. And I love domain names that say something. And Pamela's domain name is awesome, Pamela.is. But I really want to know, what is Pamela? <laughs> I love it. I've seen this domain name as well, Pamela.is. We're, we're all very jealous of this domain name. It's super cool. So I cannot wait to hear what she's got to say about that, her domain name and indeed what she is. Mm -hmm.